nigga couldn't sit in my chair Yeah, song nigga, this is my year I done ran through all this fly gear Louis Vuitton shoes more than five pit You don't like me, what the fuck do I care? I get money What's going on, visionaries? It's Nice from Nice Vision TV And today I'm back with my XXL 2018 freshman class prediction But before we get into that, be sure to hit that subscribe And like button and comment down below And follow me on Twitter Instagram and Snapchat at Nice Business TV. All right, let's get right into it, Visionaries. Number one on my double XL freshman class prediction is none other than Joyner Lucas. Joyner Lucas from Western Massachusetts. I'm from Springfield, Massachusetts. That's about an hour away from where I live. He's put it on for my state. He's about to be big. The first track that caught wave that everybody was talking about is I'm Not a Racist. Everybody was talking about it. Media outlets was talking about it. Reaction channels were reacting to it. Everybody was talking about it. Also, Gucci Gang, the freestyle. Everybody was talking about that. Everybody was reacting to it in his bank account freestyle that he recently just uploaded. Everybody was talking about it. Crazy. Joyner Lucas, he's about to blow up to me. I know he got tracks with Chris Brown coming out. I know them about to be hits. All right, number two on my list is Trippy Red. With his tracks Love Scars and God's Playing with Drake coming out, I heard the snippet. That shit is fire. He's going to be a huge artist. I know he got hits on the way with other artists. That's about to be huge. Watch out for him. He's about to be huge. He deserves to be on the list. Alright, let's get into the next person. The next person is Little Zan. Little Zan's social media presence is crazy. He got so many followers. He gets mad likes. His song Betrayed probably got like, the last time I checked was probably like 20 million views on YouTube. He probably has 50 million views now. That song blew up. He's about to blow up. I know he got hits in the chamber as well. Let's get it. Alright, number four, Little Pump. This is like, he should be on the list like automatically. With his song Gucci Gang, that shit blew up. It has like probably like a hundred million views on YouTube. That shit blew up. Everybody was singing that song. Everybody was reacting to it. That shit was wild. He deserves to be on there. I respect it. I think his first album that he released probably sold like fifty thousand the first week, forty thousand. He deserves to be on the list. All right, number five on my list is Don Q from High Bridge the Label. He should have been on there last year, but I know they had A Boogie and P and B Rock. Then it would have been Don Q. That would have been three and. That should have been history right there. <laughs> but Don Q deserves to be on the list with his Cold Corners album that he released. That shit is fire. His tracks with A Boogie, like Protect Your Protect. I told y'all that shit is fire. He deserves to be on there. Number six on the list, I know for sure she's going to be on there, is Cardi B, unless she turns it down. With her hit like Bodak Yellow and her remixes with G-Eazy, No Limit, and her relationship with All Set from Amigos, I know she's definitely going to be on there. She had a huge year. And also, she dropped two mixtapes in one year. Like, six months each. She dropped, like, one mixtape in six months and the other in the next six months. She's been on fire this year. Unless she turns it down, for sure she's going to be on the Double XL freshman class. And number seven on my list, I pick Rich Chigga. With his songs like Go Like That, that blew up, I know for sure he's going to be on there. And number eight on my list is NBA Youngboy. With his songs like Untouchable and his song Beast Mode with A Boogie and PNB Rock, I know for sure he's gonna be on there. He's about 17 years old, he signed to Atlanta Records. It's been a huge year for him, he's gonna be on there for sure. All right, number nine on my list is Russ. With his tracks like Me, You, Losing Control, and What They Want, he also has a lot of other hit tracks. I think Russ will be number nine on the Double XL freshman class. Unless, I don't know, I think he has a stigma against a double XL freshman class, if I'm not mistaken. I think he probably thinks he's bigger than that. I don't think he even needs it, to be honest. But I think he'll be number nine in the double XL unless he turns it down. Russ is a huge artist. He had a huge year. He's an outspoken artist. He's not scared to say how he feels. He's not scared to go against what you say. So that's why I fuck with Russ for sure. Alright, let's get to my final pick. My final pick for the double XL, number 10 is Little Skies. He's just blowing up, but he had a huge year this year also. He started blowing up at the end of the year. With his songs Nowadays and Red Roses with Landon, he's about to blow up. By March, if he has another couple hits in the chamber, I feel like he's definitely going to be on the list. All right, if you enjoyed my Double XL freshman class prediction, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button and comment down below. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Nice Visions TV. And be sure to tell me your top 10 list for the Double XL freshman class down below. Until next time, visionaries. All right, let's have you have a seat because that's what it's like. Chad, Chad.